Hello, how are you? Sure. How are you, Aleli? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm fine. What did you do this weekend? <laughs> oh, I'm not teacher. I was a very busy and home and working um, on the PC, um, cleaning, cooking, etc. I am very tired. <laughs> okay. You were working on the PC? Yes. My business um, on, online. Yes, I remember. I remember you have an online business. Um, yes. You, you sell things, correct, Aleli? Yes. If I remember something like uh, for um, for kickboxing and fighting and I don't taekwondo. remember. Taekwondo. Taekwondo for, for martial arts, the equipment, yes. correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. And in this moment, the business is good, Aleli? Yes. Um, mm, now, is, um, you know, I have, like, the people now have money. Um, final, final month. Ah, uh, yes. At the yeah. end, right? After they get yes. paid, then they have money again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, teacher. Everybody. <laughs> yes, it's typical. It's typical. Mm hmm yes good okay hey i see we have a couple more people we have noe and cesar how was your weekend it was so good tell us cesar what did you do well um um i i think it, it was so uh, so good because um i could rest in in my weekend on Saturday and in, in in all day, um, I could rest and that was so good because sometimes I cannot have so a lot of time, uh, to rest right. So or I I don't have a lot of free time, so that's why. Ah uh, yes, sometimes like Aleli, sometimes you have a lot of activities or work or studies or other things and you can't yes. finish. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. true. Okay. And also um, on Sunday in the afternoon, uh, I went out with my friends. So, and that was so good because uh, maybe because of the, the, the activities or, or the personal activities, we don't have a lot of time and, and, for that, right? So when we can uh, meet and, and something like that is, is so good. It's important. It's important to see your friends because you need to balance the life, right? Not only school, not only work, but also the social. Mm -hmm. Great. And Noe, how about totally. you? Ah, uh, yes, I said. I totally agree with you. Uh, Noe, it's difficult to listen to you. Now, teacher? Uh, now it's better, yes. Okay, okay. In my case, uh, I went with my family. I uh, enjoyed the, in the restaurant and met the center in uh, San Salvador. I uh, me enjoyed the meal uh, the pollo campero and the in the afternoon and um, I went I see and uh, with my ways in my two skin uh I see a uh, hop hop soccer in my my place and uh, near my uh, near my house I uh, uh, cancha, no sé cómo digo, uh, field? Field, uh -huh, with mm -hmm. my kid in the afternoon and the Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, the, the soccer game is like in, in the community. How did you? The soccer game? 
that you watch was from the community. Yes. It's not, it's yes. not like uh, FAS or Santa Tecla no. or like this. No. Uh, and uh, I'm here in, in New Lourdes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very near nice. Near my house. Near my house. Okay. Great. Yes. Okay. So that's the idea. The idea is we talk a little bit about our weekend. We use the past tense. We ask more questions. That's what we're going to do right now with your other partners. So we're just going to take five minutes and I want you to ask your partner questions. I want you to describe your weekend. Get to know your partner a little bit more. So remember, five minutes, we're only going to have quickly a little bit of questions and answers about the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Amen. Amen. Luis? Can you hear me, Luis? Jefferson?
Pineda. Ok. Al teacher de mi grupo nadie habló. Nadie, nadie habló. En your group, Pineda. No, Aleli creo que dijo, yo eh, acabo de entrar en este momento, I enter in this moment. Ok, no problem. But, Aneida, you, you were not part of a group, or yes? No, no. No, ok, so no problem, there you go. Ok, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Ok. Thank you. So, now that we have our, a little bit of our warm-up and our ideas, let's take a look at what we're going to learn in this section. We are beginning unit four. Remember, unit four. Last week, we finished unit three and the midterm. So in the platform, you must have complete one, two, three, and midterm. Today, we're going to watch our introduction for unit four about movies and jobs in the movies. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it, Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, Revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have ten words then each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr. I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board. And it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air, to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, 
My name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. Revelations at www.matthawks.com and the song is Revelations enjoy okay so quite a bit of information right a lot of things that they're talking about a lot of different jobs what were some of the jobs that they mentioned at the radio station Okay, so they talked about the songwriter, right? The person who makes the song. This was one, okay? For example, that's what you're going to do. Tell me the job and tell me what the person does. So one of the things they talk about is a songwriter, the man who writes the song, the words. What other jobs did they say? The DJ radio, who is the Excellent. person who, yeah. And what does the DJ do? Uh, his responsibility is to to play the songs in the radio and also um how do you say that uh, talking in with the listeners and mm -hmm. something like that yeah correct that's some of his responsibility great did they mention any other jobs watch 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 for select uh, different uh, song okay so like the supervisor right mm -hmm. the woman she select the songs for the dj that was one of them mm -hmm. also the sound engineer remember the sound engineer mix the the different things okay the sounds, the vocal, the guitar, or the different things. And that's a little bit about this unit. In this unit, we're going to start, and we're going to listen to a conversation about this, about different jobs. Here, we're going to listen to the next one about working in the movies, jobs about working in the movies. Before we listen, what are some of the jobs that you think can be in the movies? What jobs do people have in the movie? For example, typical actor, right? Super common in the in the movies. What other things do you think are jobs from the movies? The actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. Actors and actresses. What else? On the place. Aleli? Um... Is it important in the place mm, or okay. the country? Maybe the place or the country, but what job is that? Oh, uh, the stunt. Okay, the stuntman. Correct. Very typical, right? Mm -hmm. The stuntman, the director, the producer. Ah, so much, a little the bit. Of, not, okay. Good. Engineer the sound. Maybe for an engineer also for the movies, maybe. 
Okay, let's listen to what other jobs they mention. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine-to-five job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night. Or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything. And that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Hmm. Now, what do they talk about? Okay. What do they say is difficult about working in the movies? I don't want to be an actor. Don't want to be an actor. Okay, why not? Early. <laughs> ah, uh-huh. They talk about working up waking up early right what time do they say 3 a.m walking yeah 3 a.m walking 3 a.m come on <laughs> they talked yeah. about you say desvelado. <laughs> oh. Man, this... they stayed up late uh-huh you are sleepy yeah they talked about uh a lot of time um, sh shooting, yeah, a lot of time shooting the the movies or the scenes. Mm -hmm. Correct, right? Because the people think, oh, only one time and that's it. But no, sometimes they have to do 10, 15, 20 times the same. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Imagine 20 times or more. Is sometimes a difficult job. Good. That's what they're talking about. Being able to express movies and jobs or professions within the movies. Okay. So before we go on for our next topic, okay, we want to make sure we understand the difference between active and passive, which is the important part for here. We're going to understand and practice the passive to describe process. So similar, an easy way, like a summary. The active, I do the activity. The passive, I receive the actions. So as an example, I box, pa, 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 right? I do the action, is active. The person receive, oh, is passive. Boom, 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 boom. This is the idea. Whenever you do, active. Whenever you receive is passive. We're going to learn a little bit more about the active and the passive. Today, we're going to learn about the passive to describe processes. Hello, in this lesson, we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. 
One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then and after to help you out. Process. Okay. Is a so what I want us to look at is this. This is the most important part of the passive. What is the passive that receive the action? For example, a scene, a scene cannot do an activity because it's an object, right? The same for shots, the same for other areas. We use the passive because those objects cannot do the activity themselves. They can only be done by people or they receive it, right? So like my computer and your computer, your computer cannot turn on, right? Someone has to turn it on. So this is the idea. My computer was turned on. Always we're going to use the verb to be in different forms, um, is, are, or be. This is the verb to be. And then we're going to use the past participle, the past participle, right? Not the past tense. And this changed the activities from active to passive. It's okay, the idea from active to passive Yes, teacher. Yes. Is is uh, well, well, the and one sent and sentences a sentence the action receive uh, the subject. Correct. This is correct. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I make tacos. Active. I do the activities. Okay. Change. Tacos, what happened to the tacos? Mm, 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 mm. Tacos were eaten. This is passive because the tacos cannot eat themselves. I can eat the tacos. Active. The tacos were eaten. Passive. It's okay, the two ideas? Yes. Mm. Great. In the chat, we have a link. That link is going to help us to begin today's topic of speaking about movies. Don't worry, the important is that we discuss different questions about movies you like, you don't like, that are interesting, that are boring, that for different reason, whatever you have, okay? Hi, teacher. Everybody open the link. Yes. 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 Okay. Excellent. So not necessary go in order. You can ask different order, different questions, but we want to practice speaking, 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 speaking. Okay. And ask more. Okay, so let me share with you one more time a little bit about the videos so that you can get better. Luis, are you okay? Luis?
com quem, Luiz? Try to join the groups. Okay, I seem to be having issues sharing my screen. It doesn't allow me. Okay. There we go. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, Revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus and I could have ten words then each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr. I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, come through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air, to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey. 
So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. Revelation. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a 9 to 5 job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night. Or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything. And that can take hours. So, if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. R plus past participle. Hello, in this lesson we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past party. So those are the most important parts about the passive. The passive is exactly that. Okay, so were you able to discuss several different types of movies and different types of things? Okay, so are we okay with the ideas for the movies?
Any yeah, questions? Any vocabulary? Yeah, not about vocabulary, but uh, how often do you go to the cinema? You're asking me? Yeah. <laughs> um, I usually go to the cinema about twice a month, and sometimes three really? times, depending on how often uh, there's a movie that I want to see. But usually, at least twice a month. Yeah, because I I was I don't know I was seeing that the uh, I. I really I don't like to go to the cinema because some classmates said every month and I oh my god and and I say well uh, I go to the cinema when I, a blue moon right wow okay well everybody is different yes mm -hmm. before the pandemic we went to the cinema three three times a month or every other every week mm hmm but there are very good promotion. For example, if you go uh, in the middle of the week, you can get your ticket on the half of the price. Or even if you if you buy the card, you can get a very interesting discount on even on candies. Yes, we usually try to go. And also they have different promotions before two o'clock. Uh, two for one days, depending on the movie. So yes, the idea is not to spend a lot of money, but to enjoy going out. Mm -hmm. Wednesday is my favorite day because Wednesday is only like $2, $2 and, and something to go to the movies is the best day. Yeah. Right, Santiago? Yeah. Uh -huh, very yes on wednesday it's very cheap mm -hmm. you need to advise me when uh, i need to go to the cinema <laughs> yeah 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 and for me my favorite movie this year was top gun maverick and i went to see the movie top gun maverick in the movie theater and with my daughter and we went to go and we said no 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 this movie we have to spend more money we have to see it in the box and the seat, ooh, 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 and then ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not normal. It's not normal because that one is too expensive. But the others, yes. Teacher, I think for your daughter, uh, her favorite movie was Barbie. <laughs> no, she didn't. We she didn't go to see Barbie. She didn't want to. She preferred to go see Top Gun Maverick. Yes. He's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Now we're understanding a little bit more about the movies. And now we're going to have the opportunity to practice a little bit more about active and passive. In the following, we have a couple of exercises. Exercise number one and two are to help you identify active or passive. You read the sentence and you say, oh, that sentence is active or passive. That's the first one. So links number one and two is to help you. Remember, the idea is first identify so you can use. And then link number three is you have to put, you have to select which is the correct form to make it a passive sentence. It's okay, the idea for active and passive? Yes, it is defined it's more. Okay. Please repeat, Noe. Uh, yes, please clear the idea. Yes, it is by the word is uh, active or passive voice. Okay, good. Anybody have any questions? Anita, did you have a question? Okay, okay, great. Then let's practice with our partners. Three links, 10 minutes.
Okay, let's take a look. No, yo lo estoy compartiendo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. Yes. Ah, ok. Eh, number one, Wernica was painted by, by Picasso. Mm. A P P P is, no 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 uh, the the question is that uh, the sentence is active or passive for me I say active but I don't know mm. Fue pintada por Picasso, o sea, es una acción, pero no sé. Pa. Olive oil is made from olives. Olive oil is made from olives. Olive oil is made. I think passive. The work will be finished by two. By two. The work will be passive. Active. 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 <laughs> um, the work will be finished. Passive. Mm. Will be active. A comet was seen for a long time. Ah, passive. Check. Yes. I done 91. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, going to second. Okay. It's passive, <laughs> passive. I think passive. So passive or active? For me, it's active. Okay. Okay. Um, to check out, right? Then, uh, so a comment was seen for a long time. And she is passive. Okay. Check. And so this one is, but so this is passive. So teacher, I have a question here in this one. Okay. Uh, because you are using has been, this is like, this is like the verb to be. Been is the verb to be. So, but in this case, mm. you could say, this is passive voice because you are using being here. Correct. Because always okay. in the passive voice, you use the verb to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. So so uh, I had the uh, I, I I was I have doubt about this one for that because you are using has been, but I'm I, I wasn't sure. Yes, yes. Uh, remember uh, the passive voice is not a time. The passive voice is present, past, or future. The passive voice is the form, how you speak. Mm. This is the so, difference. So in this case, you are using uh, the perfect, but but it's, it has been taken. Correct. So you have has been is is just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it. And this one is yeah, but here you have um, passive voice as well, right? Because will be. The work will be exactly so. Even if it's for the future, because there is the verb to be, that's why it's the also exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Again, what happened? Okay. 
No, the next. Ah, sí. No. Try to score? No, really. Bapo. Run. Somebody told the story, eh? Active. Mm. Somebody told story. Alguien. Pero porque active. Somebody told a story. En pase. Someone. Somebody told a story. And somebody told a story. Somebody. Who? Who told the story? Who? Somebody. Alguien. Pero sabemos lo que hizo. Teacher, are you there? Oh. Yeah. Can you help me? Tell me. With this? Sure. Uh, the, the check? I don't know, but it's, uh, it's wrong, this. For example, somebody has stolen my bag. Mm -hmm. Active. This is active. Okay. Really? Somebody mm -hmm. has stolen my bag. Active. active. And check this. I don't know what uh -huh. happened. This my score is bad. Really? Yes. Bad. They they bad. are wrong with this. Click on OK. 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 Go and up. Mm -hmm. The the answer is can change. But it's yeah, correct. Example, it's correct, right? Yeah. Really. But the check is bad, it's wrong. Yes, exacto, Santiago. Because eh, you try and you try. Cada vez que vos intentas, te la marca como malo. Si vos lo pones uh -huh. cinco veces, te quita esos cinco puntos. Ah, no, pero en todas, aunque esté bueno, sí. me parece que sí. el check está malo. Todas, no. las que hemos, todas las que hemos contestado, teacher, siempre nos dice malo. No, porque ya está de negro. El negrito que ya ah, está. No. no, for example, this, the next. The car has been repaired. Yes. I don't answer this. The car has been repaired. Passive. Passive. Okay. Yes. Passive teacher. And yes. check. Okay. Check. Incorrect. Uh -huh. Your score is zero percent. Uh -huh. I don't know about. I think that's that is wrong with this. I don't know. No. Only for you guys. Me imagino lo que hicieron fue que hicieron la primera y pusieron revisa. Hicieron la segunda, revisa. Y cada sí. vez que vos haces, eso te lo marca cero. Ahorita todas las puedes tener bien, pero ya todas te la marca cero porque ya lo intentaste un montón de veces. No ah, sé. Ah, que nos no sé. Nosotros sí, es cierto. Hicimos la primera y yes. pedimos que revisara. Va, y te puso no correcto. Sí. Y la Hicimos primera te la puso... segunda y lo mismo. No, teacher. Bad, bad. The, the, the first one, Wernica was painted because... Wernica was painted by Picasso, dice. Paso. We, we, sí, pass es la active. Uh -huh. eh, Wernica was painted by Picasso. Pass it. In check, zero. Porque uh -huh. era active. Y, lo, y nos equivocamos en que luego la segunda volvimos a ponerlo. O sea que no teníamos que decir que la, la chequeara, que la verificara. Es que nunca vas a poner eso. Es que siempre ah, hay que revisar al final. Ajá, okay. eso, en eso nos equivocamos, Santiago. Yes, but the other exercise, we, we was, can do it. What other exercise? Eh, other exercise and other days with example, this, with this example, teacher. We check, and for example, with, with Cesar. Ah, uh -huh. okay, well, check this out. The sounds are, okay, well, come on, do down, check. Okay. Uh, ah, in, in the, the platform. No, in this. In, in, in this, this one. Ex, in this example, uh, other day. In uh -huh. this um, platform, yes. And we check the, the score, in, uh, 16%. And as, uh, 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 then... Eh, iba sumando el score. Uh -huh. But But in this, no, no in me this case, no. Restando. Es que, es que en, en la mayoría es cada vez que vos haces un intento, te descuenta por haber intentado porque no lo hiciste bien la uh -huh. primera vez. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. o, o, ahorita, aunque elija cualquiera, me va a salir malo. Todos te van a salir malo porque ya hiciste 15 intentos. 
Ah, no. Ajá. Oh, well, well, teacher. Ok. O sea, porque es todos los ejercicios y revisar. Ok. Y ese es un intento y ahí te pone score. Después, si lo haces otra vez, ya te descuentan todos los malos, automáticamente ya te queda en cero. Ok, but, but we can change this, the answer, the correct answer in the first one. Wernicke was painted by baby, baby Caso. Yeah, ahí te dice, it's right there. That's what uh, Laura told you. Passive. Yes. Passive, Laura. The first one. Passive. Passive. Because Wernicke was painted by Picasso. Correct. Wernicke is passive, the, the, pero, the picture. Pero... Ah, sí, exacto. The Mona know? Lisa. The Mona Lisa. Ah, okay. No, no Wernicke. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Wernicke. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa is the picture. By... Exactly. Is no exactly paint. when no, someone, someone painted. Mm -hmm. it. Okay. Really? Okay. The doctor, in this case, is active. Yes, because the doctor, the activity. Yes, that's right. And we are talking about with this, the first one. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Laura Michelle. Okay. okay. All right, okay. let's go back. Okay. Venga. Okay, no problem, no problem. No problem. The fire was put, put it out. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, there you go. Perfect. The idea is for you to get clear the active and the passive, the active and the passive. Now, I had a very interesting with one group, they have a little bit of difficulties in how the platform, how that platform works or hold out exercises. Remember, in many platforms, if you check and it's wrong, only reduce points. And then if you answer correctly, you go up. But in this one, no, in this one is for the opportunity. If you check, then it's zero. And then if you check, even if it's correct, it's zero because you already lose the opportunity. You lose points every time. So it's not possible thing, Marin. That is the objective. It's not possible. Oh, <sighs> Voy a ver, voy a ver, voy a ver. Ay, no, 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 no. You have it, it's zero. You didn't get it the first time. After that, it's zero. Teacher, we yes. have to use the grammatic. It's for the grammar. Uh-huh, no. Uh, we have, uh, and this is the, the word. Uh, I can, I have used the grammat grammatica. Yes, how to use it? Uh, Is your yes. question, Noe? No, uh, I am clear. It's clear how to use the grammar? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, no problem. Tomorrow we're going to continue and practice more active and passive and try different exercises to make sure that it's clear for the other times, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Okay, teacher. Thank okay, you so teacher. much. Have a good night, and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.